right, so I got the corner and snapped over here. I snapped over here. Now I just grab it. Make sure you got a good hand on it. And pull it straight off and down to the ground. So there we go. Front bumper cover is off. Now that we got the bumper cover off, we're going to have to get, flip it upside down and get to the back side of that grill. We just need to make sure that we don't do any kind of damage to the front bumper cover having it upside down. So I'm not just going to lay it upside down on the floor. I'm going to have to either put something up under it or keep it in my lap as I'm working on it. But that's what we got to do. We've got to get to the back side to get those fasteners for the grill released. So here's the back side of that grill and the bumper cover. Now in order to get to the bottom fasteners on the grill, this plastic impact portion right here has to be removed it's just basically sitting in there there's nothing much holding it on other than a couple clips on the sides so we'll work on getting that piece off once we get that piece off we've got access to the back of the grill because the grill snaps in and actually has a couple of fasteners as well to keep it in place right here is one of two fasteners they're right here where the fog light cutout would be all i gotta do is get something in here either a screwdriver to kind of wedge it and pull it up off its plastic finger. Here we go, we got one side release. We'll move on to the other side and then that impact portion of the bumper will be gone. And it also has a lower mesh grill that comes on the uh, cutout as well. All that's included in one piece. And keep in mind, bumper cover is upside down. What's top, what's bottom, is changing as I'm working on it. But nonetheless, it's all gonna be the same. I'm onto that last fastener, I got a, or last little hook I need to release. I can actually pry in on my finger and get a screwdriver up under the edge if I can get it up under there, just like I did the other side, and just work on lifting it up. Now we can take this portion, set it to the side, and we can get to the back of the grill to get to the fasteners. Now the back side of this grill has two Phillips screws, one in both upper corners where it fastens to the front bumper cover, and then around the perimeter is where it actually snaps in place, so we'll have to work on dislodge in each one of the little fingers that keep it in place but we definitely got to take the two Phillips screws out and hold on to them when you're done because you will be using them when you go back with your new grill all right here's our last fastener sit that to the side keep up with them now like I said we're going to work on getting that grill off now we need to kind of pick up on the bumper a little bit because we don't want the grill sitting on the floor because that'd be defeating the purpose we can't push against the floor to get it off now we got to work all the way around the perimeter to try to get it released. Now you got to get up in here with something like a screwdriver or anything to pry the fingers back and push down at the same time to get them. So I'm going to work on that next. I'll show you an example here. Right here on the corner. Centerpiece here, you kind of got to push in to get it released. That's where it kind of locks in. So what I've got to do is i got to get something done in there if I want to wedge something like this trim tool we've been using to kind of get to lock and push down at the same time and I'll repeat that all the way around the perimeter start with one work your way to the next to the next to you finally get it completely released and it will take some time just have patience all right so we got all the fasteners released we can grab all of the old one sit to the side grab the new one and we'll get ready to put it in this assembly right here snap it in and use our fasteners it's going to go in exactly the same way as the original came out. Same places where it clips in and the same two Phillips screws in the corner. Now before I go back with the new grill, what I've done is those areas that snap in, I've added a little bit of grease to it just to help it when it goes down in there to go smoothly and snap in without having me fight with it. So next we'll go ahead and line it up. Like I said, we keep moving around. My apology, we're upside down now, but nonetheless, you know what I'm doing. We start lining it up. When I was in each corner, I'll kind of start pushing down. Work my way around the perimeter. That grease really helps for it to go in a lot easier. Probably a good little, some gentle taps as well. Make sure that they fully seat. And now that we've got the mesh grill and we'll flip it upside down, we'll get to the two Phillips screws and we'll verify that all the catches have locked in place around the perimeter. Now we grab our two Phillips screws. One in each corner. Now, last thing we gotta worry about putting on is that crash protection. 
Now what we're going to do is reinstall the plastic piece we took out before. Now it only snaps in on the corners, nothing special. One there and then one over here. Once it's locked into place, now the bump cover is ready to be reinstalled. All right, so go ahead and I'm going to use an assistant this time to put the bump cover on, mainly because I don't want to scratch the paint. We've got a couple areas where we got to go around and near the fender, so just take your time. And also, when you're going up, you got to clear the hood latch, so watch everything as you're going. Get it close. Once you get it pretty close, right here in the corners, you can give it a nice gentle tap. Keep it in place. You can do the same thing up here. Now that side's not going nowhere, I can move over to the passenger side and make sure that one's done the same way. Alright, so we got the bumper snapped in place. Now you still got to go across the top edge with your eight push pin fasteners. You got to go along the bottom with your four as well as your two 10 millimeter bolts. Now don't forget, both ends got the two 10 millimeters as well and you got to get the fender well liner inside that little plastic U-shaped channel with the bumper cover. Once you get those in, the rest of your plastic fasteners and you're done. All you got to do now at that point is clean up your dirty handprints and you've got your mesh grill that you've been wanting. So this is where I asked for any kind of thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget to like me on Facebook and you can follow me on Twitter and check me out on Instagram. If you got any comments about today's video or any kind of suggestions for future videos or anything Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram related, please email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. Once again, Thanks for watching these videos.